What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Abe. This is Eve Online, and uh, we're talking about when you get to know, what do you do? What, I don't know, what do you worry about? What sorts of professions can you get into? And, uh, and for this video, I figured we would talk about standing fleet and being on comms. So this little three chevrons icon is the fleet icon. And however you find it, <clears throat> you will have fleets available to you, your alliance, your corporation. It depends on how they set it up. But you can find fleets and then join, join your standing fleet. Now, what is a standing fleet? A standing fleet is basically the fleet that is, they're like militiamen, basically, from back, I don't know if you're familiar with, you're probably not. You're probably not familiar with American history, but <coughs> the, uh, back sort of in the revolutionary era, the militiamen were called Minutemen because they were ready to go at a minute's notice. That they had their gun, they had their, I don't know, their hat and their boots, whatever they needed to go uh, at a minute's notice. And so the standing fleet is similar to that. So as you're out ratting, mining, I don't know, just out in space, anytime you undock, you should be in your corporation, your alliance's standing fleet. Why? Why does that matter? Why should you do that? Am I? Aren't you going to lose money? Aren't you going to, I don't know. Whatever concerns you have are uh, irrelevant. You will not lose money. You aren't going to have to share your standings or everything. If you're doing missions uh, out in Null, you get the option when you hand it in whether you want to split it with your fleet mates or not. But if you're in fleet, what that allows you to do is if you get into trouble, if somebody comes and finds you, and this is also why you are on comms, and by comms I mean TeamSpeak or Discord or whatever chat server you're, you're a part of and you have like real voice comms so that you can hear me talking just like this. <clears throat> if somebody shows up in your system, let's say you're out mining in a Rourke wall or a Rourke, let's just call them. Well, that's, you know, you might have 10 billion isk worth or more or less, give or take, in that ship alone, and you can't dock up easily, right? So you may have a Rourke, you may have your own fleet of 12 different skiffs all flying around you, and if a fleet shows up or if a small roam of uh, enemy ships shows up, you might be in trouble. But you may have time to ask for help and to let people come to you. If you're not in a fleet or if you're not in the standing fleet, all of your corp mates, all of your alliance mates are not going to be able to find you easily and they're not going to be able to help you very much. If you are in this fleet, what that allows them to do is to, if you are prepared and you're in a large ship and you're able to do this and you've equipped for it, you can light a Sino, which is basically a beacon that people can warp to, your corp mates, your alliance mates can warp in from out of system, can jump to you, and suddenly you have your own fleet of friendlies supporting and defending you. Uh, if your friends and them are within a jump or two and they can get to you before you die, they can literally, if you're in fleet with them, right click, so let me join my standing fleet. I don't know, so this person's in my fleet right now. I can go under this fleet option, right click on their name, go to fleet. One of the options if I'm out in space is going to be warp to member. Warp to member at 100 kilometers, whatever, right? They're literally going to be able to right click on your name and warp to you. Outside of that, if you weren't in the fleet, they, you would have to be telling people on comms if you could or trying to type out while everyone is shooting you. I'm in Asteroid Belt 9, you know, Section 4, I'm 50 kilometers off. If you could warp to that belt and then come and help, like, it's it's nonsense. And, and people are, are both going to be unable and unwilling to help you if you're not in the standing fleet. And if you're typing for help in the chat channel, a lot of people don't watch the chat channel because they're on comms and they're talking to each other and having a good time. So... Be on comms, be in your standing fleet, 
and people will be able to help you and you will be able to help other people a lot easily, a lot more easily and a lot more quickly than otherwise. And if you're wondering, I, I got this, this is a, this is a pod skin that I got for, I don't know, being an active member at some point. So it looks good. I like seeing it. But anyway, be in fleet, figure out what the standing fleet is, join that, be a part of that, be on comms. You don't necessarily have to be in the active channel where everybody is talking. You can find a quiet place for yourself. But if you start getting attacked, it's a lot easier to go into TeamSpeak or wherever, join the right channel and say, hey guys, I really need help. And this is where I'm at. You're already in the fleet. People can, can come to you, can drop what they're doing and show up with PvP ships to defend you. So definitely, definitely follow those instructions. Listen to your corporation. When you go to undock, make sure you're in the fleet and that you're on comms. It's just, you'll thank me. So you're in null. These are the things you need to know. And uh, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. And I'll either make a video to answer it or I'll just, uh, just respond right there. So <clears throat> next up, we'll get into a little bit more of the, like, what, else, what, what other things you can do while out in Null. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. So thanks for being here, and I'll see you in the next video.